What gets me excited about Conundrum Red is that it's a, it's a California red blend. A fun wine, but it's also a very serious wine. If you bring that wine out to a steakhouse, you should be proud to have that wine on your table. It's also just as acceptable to have that wine in a picnic basket. I think it's a, it's a crowd-pleasing wine. The grapes that we put into Conundrum are grown in top quality regions of California. A lot of local character and flavor in the places that we grow grapes for Conundrum. I think the beauty of going outside of one growing region in California and exploring others is we really have no, no rules when it comes to what you can blend. To build a layered wine with different flavors, really, really taste every part of California in one bottle. It's actually the most fun part of making a blended wine is, is being intentional about it, discovering these places for ourselves. Blending a, a blended red wine is more difficult than it sounds. It's, it's not just throw it all together and hope it tastes good. There's a lot of thought that goes into it. You know, Petit Syrah, for example, it's a, it's a tough tannic bitter wine on its own. You blend it with some, some lush Cabernet and some Zinfandel that has a little pepper quality to it you know, you're on your way to starting a, a great red blend. My grandpa, Charlie Wagner Sr., who I'm named after, came up with the original idea for Conundrum. My grandpa is no longer with us, but he always loved the grape Zinfandel. And to this day, we still put Zinfandel into Conundrum Red, sort of in his honor. It doesn't taste like one single varietal. It's a layered wine. When it first hits your palate, there's, there's a tan in there, enough natural acidity to give it a little bit of a backbone. And then there's the floral quality on the nose. With Conundrum Red, we've actually blended it so it tastes great, chilled. I think it kind of goes with the whole theme that Conundrum doesn't really have any rules. If, um, I think Conundrum Red is more relevant than ever with, with the culture that we live in today, which is a, is a very experimental culture. I love experimenting with food and wine, whether it's uh, going to your favorite food truck or going to a steakhouse or trying a new hole-in-the-wall Asian restaurant you've never been to. This wine kind of goes with all of those foods. You take a, a bite of a spicy dish and then you have a sip of chilled Conundrum Red. Try it, it's pretty fun.